This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. In this excerpt, I highlight one of the plugins that I talked about. Now, this isn't actually a plugin. It's an extension. And if you haven't taken a look at extensions, it's a way of extending the Premiere interface in ways that go beyond simply adding an effect through a plugin. Pond5, whose website's pond5.com, has created an extension to Premiere Pro, and it's free, that provides search and download of hundreds of thousands of royalty-free music and images and sound effects. The way the system works is you're able to browse the Pond5 website from inside Premiere, download proxies you can use for editing, then at a click a button, automatically download and conform the high res to the low res proxy. Let me show you how this works. Let's go up to this window and go down to extensions and notice Pond5 shows up. Now, in order for this to work, there's a trap that got me caught when I was doing rehearsals yesterday. You install this by downloading it from Pond5. It downloads a, a ZXP file, which you then need to run Adobe Extension Manager to install into Premiere. However, it requires, if you're running Premiere CC 2014, Premiere requires that you run Extension Manager 7.2, which means you've got to uninstall the old version, then download from Creative Cloud the new version. So it's critical that you're running at least Extension Manager 7.2, or it will do the installation. It's says the installation is successful, but the extension does not show up inside Premiere. Once it's installed, you know that it's installed properly when you see Pond5 being one of the selections. Pond5 always opens up as a standalone window. However, you can grab this thumb right here, drag it up into the interface, and now the Pond5 extension is part of Premiere. Because I'm working with a really small screen, to make it easier to see, I'm going to click on this thumb there and say undock panel. It now becomes a free floating window because I can show you more of the interface. We can now browse the hundreds. Let's see, how many have they got? They've got 3.3 million clips posted to Pond5. We can look for video, we can look for music, or we can look for sound effects. However, between you and me, I don't really want to look at 3 million pieces of video. My life is too short. So I'm going to start to narrow this down by searching for snow and click the search button. Well, we've gone from 3.3 million to 121,000 shots of snow. Well, that's fine, but 121,000 is still more than I want to go see, so I'm going to type snow and tree. Click the search button, and now just those shots that have got snows and trees are in them. If I put my mouse over a picture, a little thumbnail pops up that allows me to say, ah, that's what that shot looks like, or that's what this shot looks like, or maybe what I want to do is snow and tree and sun. Click search. Now we've got some artsy, craftsy pictures of sunlight and trees. And, well, I mean, look at this picture. This picture is stunning. I like this picture. I want to use this picture, I think. But I'm not completely sure. So here's how this works. Double-click it. And let's double-click this one, and we'll double-click this one. And then we'll just give ourselves some room to work by dragging this up just to get it out of the way. When I double-click these, double-clicking downloads these files here, let me just put it here, I'll hold the option key down to select the audio, delete the audio, and I have now downloaded proxies of each one of the three images that I can now build into my project to decide, do I like it or not? And as you know, editing is a never-ending process of evolution, a shot that seems to work great at the very beginning. The more you work with it, the more the story starts to unfold, the more you realize it's just the wrong shot. And I've decided that this is beautiful, and that shot I don't like, and this shot I do like, but I want to trim it a little bit shorter, and I want to put this... I mean, it's the editing process. It's how we go through this on a daily basis. But now, here's the cool part. I can put this into my timeline, I can trim it, I can add effects to it, and I can now... i got to undock this again because I have to see the whole interface. See this button down here? It says Replace with High Resolution Clip. I can click this button 
it will take me to the checkout process where it says this is how much these clips are going to cost and you only need to buy the clips that you're using inside your project. I can then say, okay, buy those clips. It will then download the clips and replace the proxy with the high resolution master. So I don't have to waste any time doing that conforming, that reconciliation process. Pond5 does it for me. Now, this also applies if I've got an effect applied here, because it'll swap the clip underneath the effect, and if I've applied an effect or put titles on top of it, I don't have to go back and rebuild all my work. The cool part is this extension is free. You go to Pond5, do a search for Adobe, and it'll say, here it is, download it, and you've got this free extension. And see this button right here? When you install the extension, you're able to also download 50 free clips that range from animation and patterns to some really lovely scenic shots that you're going to be seeing as we do some of this uh, tutorial moving forward. It's an extension, means it extends the interface. It's from Pond5, and it's free. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 148. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.